Hey guys, my name is Derek Killam. I'm with Intune Music and Sound. And uh, we, we just want to put together uh, some, a series of videos, if we can, that kind of help you do some things on your own. We'd love to help do whatever you need done, but you know, there's lots of things that you can do yourself that'll save you some time, save you some effort, make you feel good about yourself because you're taking care of your horn. What I want to show you how to do today is oil the valves on a brass instrument. Uh, now, I'm going to use a cornet. But basically the process is the same, whether it's a cornet or a baritone, anything with pistons, it's going to be the same process. Okay, let's get rolling. I got my old uh, student line cornet here. You know what, the first thing I want to do though, sometimes working with valve oil gets a little messy and, and mom might get a little mad if we mess up the tablecloth. So I'm just going to get some paper towels out, make myself a little area here where I can catch any overflow if we need to. This really isn't hard, okay? Here's my cornet. I'm gonna take, this is called a valve cap. It just unscrews. All I did was unscrew it and I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna show you something though. Before we go any farther, if you look right here, see that number one? That lets me know that that's the first piston. That's the first valve. It's in the first valve slot. And the other thing I want you to see are these little, that little plastic piece. That's called a valve guide. Now that valve guide is made to go a certain way to make sure that these holes on your valve line up with the tubes on your, on your instrument. If it doesn't go back in the way you took it out, it's not going to work when you're done. So before I do anything, I'm just going to show you again, that's going to slide in. That valve guide locks into place. The one is looking at me if, as I look at the mouthpiece. It'd be looking at me as if I was playing. So one goes in, those valve guides lock in, and it just screws back down. So just showing that before we get going. So I'm gonna pull this first valve out. I'm gonna set my horn back in the case because that's a safe place to keep it. And I'm gonna take my valve oil. This happens to be in tune music valve oil, convenient. And uh, you know, I've never heard people say one drop on this side, one drop on that side. Look, you're just trying to get the valve lubricated, okay? So I'm not super careful with it. I just make sure I get enough on there, let it run down to the bottom of the piston. I'm gonna get my cornet again. Again, I'm looking at my number. This is number one. There's my valve guides. I'm gonna carefully slide it in there. I kind of spin it a little bit to make sure it lubricates all the way around. Make sure my number one's looking at me. Slide it in there, lock it in the valve guide slot and screw my cap back on, okay? Push it up and down a couple of times, got a free flowing valve, everything's great. And then you just repeat the process for the, uh, the other two valves. If you have a, a baritone or euphonium that has four valves, then you're gonna have to do it four times. That's your basic process. There's nothing to be worried about, nothing to be scared about oiling your valves. It's gonna make your instrument last longer, gonna make your instrument play better, and you can do it yourself. Thanks.